we're going to uh, the chapel together. So this is uh, about summer 91. And some of you, and I told you the story, but some of the others I have not. So it's about summer of 91, and we're walking to chapel, and I was helping one of my kids play baseball, who plays baseball, uh, help him coach, because they were in city finals and all that stuff. And so it was really kind of like a, a, a challenge for me. So, because uh, I, I was raised playing soccer, I, I, don't, you know, I don't know much about baseball. So he said, we were walking to chapel, going up this hill through this place, and, uh, and he said, I used to play baseball. And I said, yeah, were you any good? <laughs> He said, uh, humbly, he said, yeah, I played, well, I played major league for 10 years. I said, oh, really? He, said, he, he, was, he played for the Cincinnati Red, uh, uh, Reds uh, for about nine years, something like that. And then he went to uh, Minnesota. But uh, it was a line drive by Steve Sachs on his arm that cost him uh, his baseball career, but made him much, much richer in Christ. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, uh, you remember me sharing about the God's favor? Yes. That God's yes. favor is on us as a child of God. Yes. So I thought about that. I said, you know what? Let me see if Frank can come to our anniversary. <laughs> nah, nah, he won't. He's too busy. <laughs> Besides, he probably can't afford a speaking fee. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, if God's favor is on me, I'm going to send it out anyway. So I sent it, and his wife replied the next day. She says, Jeff, she says, we won't be able to come on the 28th. He says, well, why don't I, uh, I want you to do this. Why don't you fill out this application for a church of the week on KKLA? And I said, nah, we're just a small church, you know. And I said, you know, that's where the churches really are big or may have major impact and all that stuff. And so uh, then I thought, well, why don't I just do it and see what happens? I become quite daring. I just filled that thing out, and lo and behold, Donna contacted me, Jeff, he said, we will recognize, we'll recognize the church as a, as a church of the week on October 21st, and then I was really amazed because this last week she, she emailed me and she said that Frank is going to be here, and I am so honored to have Frank Pastore, National Religious Broadcasters, uh, talk show host of the year, uh, in He looks different though from when I saw him. He said he used to look like Clark Kent. <laughs> so listen, for me this is just such an honor, but it's not just me. This church was founded 35 years ago by people who came from Holland. And in uh, 1972, uh, they borrowed, actually they borrowed Viola's doctrinal statement. They took a, it was a good one, it was a good one, and then they took the Baptist Church's uh, 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 constitution thing and they put it together and that's how the church was started. Since then we've come a long way, but uh, I just want to recognize because the honor, even though it's a church of this week, it really goes to the ones who helped start the church. So I just want to ask those who are here and helped start the church, if you would come forward. Tell to Millie, would you come here please? Millie, <laughs> She was uh, her, her her husband who is with the Lord now, and uh, uh, he was an elder. And then uh, Tom Silvi, are you here too? Tom Silvi, you come forward. Tom Silvi, really good. Thank you. Come up here. And then uh, there's of course uh, Om Brewer. He was our first treasurer. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And then there's uh, Om Dixie. This guy. Bill Bryce from Simi Valley. Come up here. Okay. He's been driving from Simi Valley, 60 some miles, uh, every single Sunday. And he's here, you know, the first one, and he's the last one to leave. And I want you to know that Om Brewer also drives a long way. They move to Marietta, and they drive 70 miles. Hey, listen, that's one way to go to church, to yes. fellowship here. Isn't that amazing? And then, of course, Om Bob. Would you come, Om Bob? Glad you're back here and you can be here today, um, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, maybe you can and then uh, uh, these are the people who helped found the church. His wife was an elder, and a couple of these people, their their spouses were elders. They are all with the Lord right now, and I'm just so thrilled, so thrilled to be able to uh, have them come and receive this plaque. But I also want to recognize some of the people who came very shortly after that, and uh, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. They've been such a blessing. To
Dr. Marlon has been such a blessing to our church. Still teaches Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know, I'm going to know that KKLA contacted us last year and gave us a whole free week of radio advertisements. And we used it for our uh, parking lot. Uh, uh, Save Me Tomorrow, a uh, rock concert that rocked the whole neighborhood. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, and, and, and we got the free advertising because of Uncle Arnold. Oh. So KKLA oh. knew it already last year. And, uh, you know, a number of other people were, they were both elders, my father-in-law, John, my, and Arnold, and then there's Hank and Luke, they came right after, right after we started the church. And they're still starting and so, so helpful. Come to Eddie, come to Helen. We want to thank you so much. Come to hell at our Sunday school teacher for many years. Come to Hetty Hall. Make sure I have my coffee in here. <laughs> She's a very valuable member. And of course, Simon and Maria. And come to George. Oh, my goodness. And then some of the other people who came later, Ben, uh, ben and, 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 uh, and Ben Lurbs. And I just thank you so much for supporting us. But I wanted to just say this, and it would be so crowded up here. But, you know, Frank is going to be here. He said he's going to stay till the end. And I'm just so thankful because I know he's a busy man. I asked him. Uh, if he had a few words for us, and so I'll just uh, want to just give this time here to him, and uh, and I just want to thank you for coming, man. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it's an honor. I was actually tearful in the back because so often they ask me to do the big churches, and uh, I'm gonna tear up right now. But <laughs> this church is so precious. And just seeing the families and the older people and the kids, you lose that where I've been because you're in front of 10,000 people all the time around the radio. And you forget the core of what it's like to be community and family and with all the garbage that's going on in the world and have this little sanctuary. It's so precious. I want you all to just be reminded of how valuable and how precious this is. And when the Lord I know looks at this church and looks at the Lord's grace, he's smiling. Mm -hmm. You guys are just such a neat fellowship. You can feel it just walking in. I apologize for getting emotional. But <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's just really neat. Right, so, tomorrow, um, about 6 o'clock, I'm going to have Jeff on. And uh, I'm probably going to bring up this theme again of just the small church. Uh, and just a local community church. I mean, founded 30-something years ago, some dear people decided to patchwork together what they could just to start a fellowship for their family and a sense of community. And look how it's been blessed and grown. And so please don't be distracted by numbers. I know a lot of really big, empty churches, and I've been in a whole bunch, but there's just something precious about the real thing. And uh, Jeff was talking about, you know, the story with the baseball. And uh, it, it, I'll, I'll give you an illustration. It, it reminds me of when I would go to high schools or minor league baseball games or even little league parks. And I would go and they'd ask me to say a few words. I remember going to a little league game and it was, I was supposed to make some, a presentation at the end of the game. It was for the championship of a city or something. And, uh, and I, I like to stand behind home plate behind the backstop. And I was just standing there watching and all the dads are here. And what was so cute is all the dads are criticizing the pitcher, critiquing him on what they would do. His arm's not big enough, and his, his not high enough, he's not throwing inside enough, his screwball, and all of this stuff, right? And so one of them just sort of, there's like four of them, turned and just sort of elbowed me and said, what do you think? And I said, oh, I, I just think his arm needs to get a little more up on top. Oh, what do you know? And then, <laughs> it's so cute. And so I didn't say anything, you know? And so when I got announced, I went out from behind them, and they just turned white. <laughs> Because the real thing had shown up. You know? <laughs> so I just want to tell you that's what that's what the experience is for me mm -hmm. in coming here. It's just it's just a touch of the real thing. Mm -hmm. And so this plaque reads, Give thanks to God for the Lord's grace of down is our church of the week presented October 2007 to Pastor Jeff Kirkhoff and the entire community of the Lord's Grace of Down. Mm -hmm. And so this would be stuff in the back. We're going to take a picture in a second. So there, there's free stuff in the back uh, on the table and all that, but so many of you have already plugged in and sort of know, familiar with our station. We've got uh, over 100,000 people listening any one moment. Uh, and there's the research we've done shows a lot of them aren't plugged into a church. Oh, and boy, do I, I just wish that some people listening tomorrow 
uh, as we talk about Lord's Grace would just like, you know what, be steered here and just come and visit uh, because they'd be overwhelmed with the love and the sense of community that you all have for one another. It's just so precious. So with that, tune in tomorrow. Tell your friends about it. Uh, it's a good witnessing opportunity, too. It won't sound really gaggy churchy. Um, <laughs> uh, so now just ask him, you know, some, some questions, and he'll talk about you guys. And he'll talk about some of the founding elders and the families and things like that, which I think is going to be really cool. So it's an honor to be here. Uh, trust me, I've been much more touched than you have uh, just coming here. So this has been really neat for me. So let's take a picture, and we'll let uh, Patrick Jeff get to work. You know what? I'll stand in the back. <laughs> All these people in. Hey, let's get in the light. Let's get up a little bit. Let's go to the end. Get in, get in, get in. There you go. Act like we know each other. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. All right, God bless you guys.